My name is Lotte. Uh, I'm from Sweden and this is Made of Yarn podcast. I will talk about knitting and crochet, what I did last year, my plans for this year and some something in between there. So you are so welcome. Welcome new viewers and old ones. I'm so grateful that you taking your time to watch and listen to me a little while. Uh, should I start with the, the usual what I, I'm wearing? I'm wearing first, you can't see it, it's a dress. Uh, it's the, I made it as a dress. It's uh, Hohi Locatelli's pattern. <laughs> Sim super simple summer sweater that I made as a dress. So this one is long down to my, almost my wrists now because it's hanging out. <laughs> also, I love it. I have it all the time now when we have so, such a cold here in Sweden. It's cold inside too. Uh, so it's so cozy. I have this one and another one that I made as a dress also that I'm sw switching, switching between. Uh, that one is uh, a little bit shorter and then I made fr uh, also from a sweater pattern that I continued to, to make as a dress, as long as the, the yarn, as I had yarn. And that is the, I didn't plan this, the no frills sweater as a dress. This one, I just, I increased a little bit in the, around the waist because I, I'm a little bit, little bit bigger on my stomach, uh, but then I just let it be, and so it's a more the silhouette is straight down, just this one. Uh, the other one I made continued the increases, so it more, it's more a lined, and that one goes about to the knees, a little bit lower than the knees. I made this in a in a very cheap yarn from a, a, a store, regular store here in Sweden, where you have, a, it's called Rusta. Uh, it's a, a sock yarn, 75% uh, wool, superwashed wool, and then polyamide, I think it was. But it, it holds very good, I have to say, even so, it's a, a cheaper yarn, but I'm happy that I found it because I can. It's like that also when you are size bigger, it's not the, the cheapest, cheapest, <laughs> cheapest uh, hobby to, to knit all the time, especially when you want a big garment. Uh, so I, I, I found it very good. So you can have... Um, you choose in between uh, other yarns also. Uh, this one is just, um, just, I kind of test knitted some years ago for Kia in Kia's, Boo, Kia's Boots podcast. She has a podcast both in Swedish and in English here on YouTube. Uh, so she made Actually, I can take it off. Actually, this hers is very big. I just uh, made it with um, one skein to, in 100 grams. To, one hank was it in first uh, to see how, how far I came with it because it's the body of, of the shawl was uh, 50% give and take. So I weighed it and then I made it the, the braid afterwards. Uh, I, because I just wanted a, a smaller thing, not that, that big as she had. I think she made it two meters long almost or something like that. Very beautiful. Uh, I think, she, I'm not sure, but she has, if you are patrons on her uh, website 
uh, you can have her all her patterns for free. See if I can do this again. <laughs> or if it's too warm in in here, I will try a little while. Uh, or the yarn, it's a yarn I had for years. I bought it before Brexit came. It's from England, from St <clears throat> Stranded Dye Works. And the, the, the color is gingerbread house at least it's little little bit cute in the colors i think it's hmm? i have my notes to the left uh, it will be also a q and a today because last before was it november something like that i talked about because i had uh, and then reached uh, 1000 subscribers thank you <laughs> between you and the swedish viewers uh, and i asked those who, who wanted to be in a giveaway to if they liked ask me questions then i uh, if they wanted to participate uh, if they wanted they could participate anyway so i have some questions that i will answer I think it was so much fun to, to or oh, I haven't translated them I, I can, mm, to English. I hope I can, now it's on the floor. It can lay there. I will talk about something more <clears throat> first. I can show you what I have in my knee. I think I showed it before. I, I did, I know, uh, if you've been here before. Now I have two, a pair I have. I have a pair. <laughs> uh, they have n are not the most beautiful now. I will tell you why. This is the... the <laughs> I forgot it again. Back to the 80s socks. Made of... I didn't make a note. Anyway, I would have notes in the box down below so you know. <clears throat> if you have questions afterwards, I wonder what did you really say? It's a collab co collaboration to say so <laughs> between two, at least there are two uh, Danish women uh, designers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I totally lost. I, I thought first was was. Because it's uh, Malene from uh, the Play for Knitter. She also has, has a podcast here in English. If you haven't seen her, you have to. And she played the piano. Piano also wonderful. But she made this sock last year. And I, I just had to make it myself. Because it's, well, back to the 80s. I was young in the 80s. We had kind of these things then. Uh, I made this from yarn that I dyed myself with natural dyes. So that's why you can see a little bit here because when I wet blocked them, it f the color from this one fell out. And it's totally, how do you say? I can understand it because this red ditch, the it's uh, beetroot. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a test, and the green one is oh, reed. Was it red? the right reeds that I uh, dyed last summer? But I will just have have them inside here. Uh, it's this one is in brioche and. Uh, they are just lovely. I haven't worn them yet. I kind of I like to see them like this also, but I will have them on my feet after showing you. Absolutely. Uh, I have uh, had a question. One of the questions actually from uh, one of the viewers was how I made this with uh, how I could die with reed. I boiled 
it, it was my husband who found them at least at last. I mean, <laughs> I called him every because he 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 was uh, visiting lakes all over our area, and I I said, can you? search for them and he found the wrong ones <laughs> and at last in our, the closest one uh, lake we have here he found the right one uh, I prepared the uh, the wool before the yarn before with the mordant alum before that and the, I, I cooked the the read about one hour cooked mm, simmered more like and then it uh, could it cooled down and then I put in the the yarn heated it a little bit and then I left it over the night uh, I read also oh I talked about it before I, I remember now because um, I read that you can have uh, we say is bicarbonate is it the same as we have in Sweden do you think so do you think so <laughs> uh, I had it also in the water let's see if I have no it's the same I made it twice so the first time I just dipped the half of the skein in the when I have it, had it also in the, the water afterwards. So I dipped it and it was laying there about 10 minutes. <clears throat> so then I got a, almost like a striped uh, yarn because it when you have this bicarbonate it was more became more yellow green. Um, golden green kind of I don't know if you can see it it's more dusty without dusty green without the, the, the bicarbonate so the next skein I tried when I got more reeds I put the whole thing in in bicarbonate afterwards uh, and then I tried also as with this with the beetroots and it became quite good actually I, I'm surprised so that's what what I did oh I, now it turned black here on my app, iPad I will just uh, sorry I will dive down to my notes <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to my share is quite high I should uh, lower it but I forgot about it should I take some of the questions? Uh, I got one question actually afterwards from another um, podcaster and designer. She, she asked why I, I test knit so much. Uh, if you're new here, I, I do that quite a lot. Uh, you can also go back to my um, previous... Uh, episodes and I have interviewed many of them uh, over like this <laughs> I, I talked I read up the, the the answers from them sorry some I have some I have live so to say uh, why I'm test knitting so much when it's so fun it's really fun uh, I have learned so much before I, I when I was young it was just straight needles Oy. this one not not I didn't have any uh, cable needles at, at all uh, the patterns you got you got them from magazines or you when you get got, got visited a, a yarn store and then you just picked up out one that you bought together with yarns so this community when i i started uh, this found it 
and that you also could test it others design it was a wow <laughs> and then I had to much of it because I could knit I have knitted many years but to to learn when you are older also that is for example not just one way to cast on stitches that I thought it's plenty to choose from and to bind off also for just for one example but also that's well it's so much I have learned from from the designers and then also I get garments from it of course for me and my my children uh, sometimes it has been perhaps <laughs> too much at once uh, some of them um, ask like it's right now now I, I, I am belonging uh, how to say to some groups and they they the designer asked me and the other ones directly not just in Instagram or Facebook uh, or sometimes someone asked me personally can you test it and sometimes I, I of course I will do it I got a question the other day and I had to say no actually even though I I wanted it was a, such a beautiful uh, mittens with much color work and I've learned the hard lesson that I have problem with color works on uh, small like socks and and mittens because I got ache a lot so, so I I um, how do you say well, I, I, I do the, the one of them mostly in pain and then mostly I don't make the other one. So it's it's no idea to, to do it. Why should I? Uh, I try to find a word. <laughs> I can't find it. But it's a, it's a pain. So I have learned also to say no, <laughs> actually, because sometimes... I've heard, well, I can take that one, I can take that, and in, in my head I have planned that, then I can finish that one, and I can finish that one in time. And sometimes they all come at the same time, so I, now and then I can sit with three or four different designs that I should test it, and that's too too stressful. That Then I lose the, the happy, happy thoughts, <laughs> the happy feeling I, I would have from, from knitting because knitting is should be relaxing for me as I also if, if you're new here I, I, I am chronically ill I, I, I was searching for that word also so I should take it easy but I, 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 I am a person who easily oh that is so fun like I was before I could jump on every, everything and do wanted to do everything and now I don't have the energy <laughs> I hope you understand uh, I got a question if I rather knit the same pattern over and over again <clears throat> or if I would like to test new ones so I have to have some water mm. actually My first thought was I, I don't want to knit in, uh, the same again. I like to knit new ones. But over the years I got some uh, favorites actually. Some basic uh, patterns that is that I, that I made several of. Uh, I have one, we have one uh, designer here in Sweden Linnea Öhman if you know if, are familiar with the, uh, the the cardigan Siri it's quite famous all over the world she made so much more also she doesn't 
what I know make anything new for the moment. But she has some on, on Ravelry and they are amazing. All of the, all of them. I haven't knitted everyone, but they are very good looking, if you can say that. Uh, one of the patterns is called Polly. The first time I saw that one, it it, it was on a big. Oh, how do you call it in English? Fest, yarn festival in Stockholm. Some years ago, perhaps it was, no, not the first time, but, but, but it was many years ago now. And Linnea herself was standing there uh, promoting her patterns. And that one was new. And it was just a plain cardigan. It is a, it's a cardigan. And I thought, what on earth? I didn't, it didn't... Uh, I'm losing words again. I didn't like it at once, if you say like that, because it was just uh, stockinette stitch all over, and oh, well, it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I I didn't buy the pattern then. But when I came home, I read about it. It's a, such a good pattern because you can choose between a rounded neck, a V neck, a straight body, an A-line um, body, long or shorter, <laughs> the opposite, you understand. So I made this one so many times and also I made it as a, a sweater and a dress also because I took away the, the I knitted in the round. I increased two stitches and made it as a, uh, a sweater. And one of the ones I made also, ha I had it for years, a uh, A-line dress that I also made pockets. Uh, and also I know my, my niece Renée knitted it several times also because she, she really likes it. Uh, the only thing I don't like, I, I like when you, you just continue, when you don't have to pick up the stitches. You have to do that in Polly. But it's it's, it's okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I made it five, six times. I actually made it. And some more. But I think I want to, to try new, sorry, new patterns also. I have so much, I bought so much. I have much books that I haven't knitted out of some nothing out from yet. So I have to have to do that in time. I got a question. Uh, if my visit is on visits on different places, I, I have been visiting different um, yarn stores and meals and so that I made interviews also here. So I guess the question comes from that there. If I've been thinking different when I choose materials to knit from. I had to think also there because I, I think I'm perhaps Guess what? I lose in words again. When I was in one quite local here uh, store, that you have, they have a big store because I I I just want mostly to to knit with wool. I, that's um, I prefer it. Uh, but then I talked about with them about acrylic yarns, for example, because. Um, one of my daughters, Lovisa, she is so sensitive to to real wool. Uh, she can manage uh, merino <clears throat> most of the times. She actually can get. I have made her something in llama soft, and she can 
feel that also. So I'm searching for an alter alternative for her. Uh, and also my one of my brother's grandchildren. Everything itches on them. So I talked about the the owners to this yarn shop about this uh, with acrylic yarns and they said that uh, well when you when you are perhaps allergic or or sensitive so it's such a good alternative because people should they be without knits then because they can't they have to have uh, wool or of course it can have natural ones like cotton and linen but that's all, all not always an option especially in the winter times so well, yeah yes then i i have i had to i have to learn myself not to be that uh, no you just have to have wool no you don't have to have just wool you can have something else also well i lost a yarn here on the floor i can't dive after it that I bought before for, for my Louisa. It's 50, I think it's 50% about wool and the rest is acrylic and it you can't feel the wool. But I know myself I've, because I also want them to be warm. Acrylic uh, is more these plastic ones. You, you can, well, put on a plastic bag and you know how it feels almost. So I'm glad that I found that also. Uh, I got a question if I have a favorite technique in, in when I'm knitting. Technique. I can't, I, I, I'm empty. Uh, technique. I, I, when I, I don't know if, how, how, how she, was thinking I when I cast on if I think about that I, I always almost always uh, cast on with this uh, old Norwegian cast on one of the things that I learned not uh, I, before I made the the old one the uh, long tail cast on that is more uh, not so stretchy but this one is so stretchy and techniques or, or how to if I, I prefer to knit uh, what I like to knit is um, uh, oh I'm so sorry you are the first one I'm talking to this morning oh I talked one sentence with my husband <laughs> before he went to work uh, well, cables, I love to make cables. And uh, I, I just found it in, in, in Swedish, lace and so on. Uh, I'm not that fond of uh, like fair isle knitting. I do it, but it's not a favorite. If that's a technique, I don't know if it's, what's the, the, he wondering, or, sorry. Uh, one question if you, is, if it's some technique that I haven't tried yet, that I would like to, I couldn't think of one actually. Uh, when it comes to, I, I would love to to try uh, to to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would love to, love to. I will put that aside. I can't remember the words. Spin. I la would like to spin. Try that. Some uh, that would be a wonderful thing to to do. Uh, somehow. And I would also love to try to make um, to weave, not big. Just with a, a table weaver. <laughs> I don't know the name there either. Uh, to make. Uh, scarves and so on. I would love that. Mm? Uh, and I got a question if I, I knit mostly for myself, rather prefer to do for myself or to, for others. 
Uh, for me and my family, I I I have problems. I don't I don't take um, can I English over at all? Uh, I, I can't find that word either. Uh, if someone asked me, can you make that up? Sometime I said yes, and mostly I I'm always crying all the time because I lose the 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 fun. It's so strange. I can't understand why when I do it for myself and mostly at least even more. I mean for my children and now my new son-in-law Oliver. He's a blessing because he. <laughs> The more it itches, the more scratchy the yarn is, the happier he is. He, he he told me he bought one years ago in some of the Baltic countries, I can't remember. And he said, it's so itchy and I love it. Uh, it's wonderful. So I'm knitting him, him uh, a sweater now. And the, then I, I, I could, for them I could knit. 24 7 actually uh, because actually I don't need that much and I don't need anything at all myself anymore more than socks because I wear them out but uh, I make new things because it's fun uh, I got a question if I use magic loop or double pointed needles when I'm knitting mittens always the magic loop. How long have I been knitting? Well, I started when I was, I don't know, six or seven, something like that. Uh, it was a mix between my mother, her friend, uh, childhood friend Anna Marta, and an aunt. I wasn't related, but she was like a, a grandma, Ingrid. Uh, they taught me uh, and then you well I knew how to, to, to knit before I started school actually so I knitted quite a lot I didn't finish it I, I, I mostly crocheted as a child but I, I knitted a lot on straight needles then and it was such a boring thing to do when, when you when when I made the back and the, the front, and then you should make the sleeves also flat, you needed them flat. And it was a, looked almost the same size as, as the back and the front, and oh, four big things. So many times I didn't finish it, I started new ones. So I think was the first items uh, garment I made I perhaps I was 15 16 something before I really finished something a whole thing uh, then I made for knitted for the children but many years actually I didn't knit at all um, when the children were small because I didn't have the uh, enough um, my own time because they wanted to help me and they they ripped up the the the, the needles from the uh, knits and so, so on and I just forgot about it not now and then when they needed something and and mittens and socks and uh, hats that was my my mother did them but then so perhaps now about 15 years now, I, I've knitted and crocheted almost every day again. But I knew it all the time. Uh, what is my favorite knit? Well, I said that before. It's more, but I still can't find the word. If you, when it's... It would be nice if I find the word I can put it here uh, but 
nu Kalos and Lace things all over. One, just in one color. That's my favorite. Uh, I got, I have to drink again. I got a question if I, with my Austrian background, my father was from Austria. Uh, if I have knitted something that is typical from there, I haven't. And I want to. I have one uh, cardigan, started one that is in a wardrobe, <coughs> wardrobe right now, that reminds me a little bit of it. It, it was a test knit that I didn't finish last year for, for Hohi Locatelli with ma many um, cables. It's so beautiful but because they have much cables in some of the cardigans. For the the jackets they have for their dindles and so the, the clothes their the dresses, or if they just have a skirt. Many of them are just uh, uh, to the waist. I don't like that because I have a stomach in my waist that is big. But one of you viewers once said the. I don't know if you are watching now, but one is from Austria and she said that her mother is, told me that her mother is about my size and she has it even so. So it just to, to dress after your size and make the best of it. But I haven't found the, the right, a, a very good pattern yet. Um, one typical also is, is just... Uh, uh, have to put that aside. Um, oh no, you are so sorry. I had to <laughs> wave with my hands. Uh, one of them are more. One option is quite uh, straight uh, jacket, just in in garter stitch. Many of them are. Uh, they are grey. And then you have a, a green edge and you can embroider something. So something like that. Something like that is in my head uh, cooking. <laughs> I would like to make something like that also. Ah, yes, I mean, yeah, it's in Swedish. Swedish. Uh, if I have an... I got a question if I had have a good solution with light when I'm sitting in the same room knitting with uh, someone else. I, we, we just uh, moved around the furniture but before I had my, I have a a chair um, and on the wall there I had it set on the wall a lamp that I ca can move like this but now I moved on the opposite room, but then I have a golf, golf. <laughs> I try to make it a swinglish uh, floor. We we say floor lamp. It's a lamp with so I could have it behind the chair and move it around. And uh, because my my husband doesn't care if if it's uh, any light there but when one of my daughters come home she was just she wants everything to be cozy with candle lights and so but then i can just knit some stockinette stitch <laughs> or if i have to i pick up my my phone and light take the light on so it's no problem and when i sit in the bedroom that i mostly am with in a chair i have a lamp in the in the, in the window. I got a question if some if I could recommend her or someone else that are are not a knitter, just a crochet, what to start with, to to then want to continue to to knit. I know most say well try make a. Um, scarf, a long scarf or something. Do not. 
It's the most boring. I will tell you why. See if I have, do I have it here? <laughs> here I have it. I'm making one now for my daughter Louisa. And it will, it's almost never, it, it never stops. <laughs> it, it will never be finished. It, fe it feels like that. Because it should be so long. Well, I, I like it. I, I, I'm i trying to make <clears throat> a decimeter to four inches a day to finish it at least this winter. But I, I, I can tell you if you are knitting on this, you will put it aside quickly. My recommendation is actually if you know the basics at least. And even if you don't, you can, can learn them quickly. To knit a garment right away. Uh, one of my nieces, Renée, that I talked about before, she, she, I can knit at the same time, can't I? Uh, she, uh, she was a crocheter for many years, and this can be, I don't know how many years she's, she's been knitting now, five, six years, perhaps more. Uh, and she said, oh, she, she would love to try it, and I said. I had to know, now it's warm. Uh, make a sweater, I, I told her directly. We search for, for a pattern and I will help you. I will guide you because you, she, she knew the, the basics. And she was, oh, oh sorry. Uh, she also, sadly that, that the one she wanted to, to make, it was a pattern that was knitted flat. But even so, it's good also to, to learn directly, in my opinion, also to purl. Uh, many, if you don't get um, ache from them, of course, but because I, I've learned that, so I, I, for me it's not, no, no problem to purl. Uh, and she made it and I helped her to sew it together and she was so happy over it and after that she made oh, many poly <laughs> cardigans and she needs color work she hasn't yet started tried uh, uh, socks but she's talking about it uh, uh, scarves and hats she, she, she makes it all now uh, and now her, her little sister uh, little sisters she said they are what Angelica, she's 35 this year. Uh, we had uh, what's up uh, um, connections. <laughs> she, she, she asked me and Renée, she, she had yarn f for some years ago. She started to, to knit. She wanted to make a skirt. Uh, so she got some uh, cables from me. And she started to, to knit, but then they went abroad some months and came back and then she and they moved and she she forgot about it. But now she has a work now and now and then that she has hours with that nothing is happening. So she wants something to do more than read. So she wanted to take up the knitting again. So I said. Well, make a. She wanted to make. Do I? Do you think I can make a, a sweater? Said, of course you can. Absolutely, we will guide you. And we had done it. We, I, we had. We had sent. I have sent her uh, videos. I recorded myself and I, I tried to talk and and also because she made mistakes. The first one that I didn't tell her, warn her about when he, she made it around. She she. And the word there is gone. You know, you, you have it in. It wasn't straight. It was turned out. Inside out. Do you understand? It was false. She had to, to, to start it again. But she's conti continuing. So some days ago she had made the whole body. It's from up, down, up. And also a, more, a little bit more complicated for my taste, but it was the one I found in Swedish. Mostly that I have is in, in English. 
uh, and then she she decreased and she was so nervous about that for the back but she she made it that so now she will make the the, the front also and she's so good and we have another another one she's just 19 she asked Rene first I want to do more than just sit in my phone when she's home she goes in go, she's a student uh, I want to learn learn how to knit and I want to make a, a, a slipover for my mother uh, and then Renée said we will talk with to Lotte and um, help you so they came this last fall I don't know if it was November ish something like that and uh, she had came with a whole bag with needles and crochet hooks and yarn and uh, she was so prepared but I, I she uh, I, I love do you say loaned no she could borrow she borrowed uh, cables from me <laughs> Uh, but she also make straight, or uh, flat, or flat, I mean. Uh, uh, but it's nice to learn, even so. And she knits so, so even. Because that's not always the case when you, you purl. Uh, even today, I know I knit looser on the purl side. But she, you can't tell that from hers. So she sent me a picture of, um, the other day. Uh, Jenny Lee is her name. And uh, she was had finished the, the back. So now she will start the, at the front. So this was a long story to, to, to talk about uh, what to knit. The fir your first knit. Knit a garment directly. I have so, a one, no question what knit that I'm most proud over. I actually don't know. Well, I'm, when I finished something that I made up somehow in my head with cables or color work or so for my children, that is the first one I made for my the adult one that I made for my son Hampus was I, I just made it up. It's not, nothing special, but I made it, and it was the first time that I uh, put in a, a zipper also. I don't, I can't say. I, I, I'm proud of the most of the things. If I need mostly when I need it, it I, I like it. <laughs> uh, no, but that was that was the all the questions. Are you still here? I'm sorry. Um, on the other side here, I have n make notes what I knitted and crocheted last year. <clears throat> I will not make this to show that many do that, and I'm so fascinated over over it. But I had I'm too lazy to show everything. But I can tell you how much I made. And I had to drink water. I made grown cardigans and sweaters for adults 15, for children 8. I made 20 socks, uh, 8 mittens, 4 hats, 6 different things. It could be toys, I made dishcloths, I make headbands. I will talk about one of them soon. I will put it here so I don't forget it. Uh, I make two uh, bags. I, I crocheted for, for one of my daughters. I make four shawls or cowls. I made three slipovers. I make one dress. I think it was this one. And uh, for adult and one for a child. I made four blankets. And I made, we have, 
that I talked about before, her, uh, Kia from Ki from Kia's board. She started. We have um, have a stick stitch for our podders here. Podders, do you say so? <laughs> here in Sweden, we make we who have podcasts make uh, we can make um, different squares to make a blanket so every month we can we have a different podcaster who, I ma who made it so I made several of them so I haven't uh, noted them I don't know how many I have them in a drawer I will put that here and my iPad is black here um, well, I can show you this one. This is one of the latest, it, it's the latest tested. It hasn't come out yet. It's the, have I at all? I don't know what's the name. Snow Fern Headband. Band. It's by Kalura Hudson. It will come out any day now on Ravelry. So you can <laughs> like this, <laughs> and this is an, in a Swedish yarn, uh, Jarbo Select number six in a green. I don't know the the color, what it's called, but it's green. It's lovely. It's a comb, combed yarn. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I will show you, I, see, I almost talked over 50 minutes. I can talk about this first, of course, and I'm in the middle of the road. My daughter Lovisa came with a picture, photo she, she saw, I don't know, TikTok or somewhere, I have no idea, on a long wrap, do you say so, scarf? Uh... Can you make it? Of course, I said. <laughs> and had to think because she's so sensitive. And this is Drops Brushed Alpaca Silk. It's lovely. So I, I tried to see the, the colors, how they made it. It was, oh, I think I nailed it. And then it's it will be fringes, long ones at the, the ends. But it never ends. <laughs> My plan is, should I block it hard? <laughs> then, oh, then it can be do almost done. <laughs> it's finished now. No, I have to make it proper. Uh, I will put this one down here. Uh, one of my... The things I made every month last year that I talked about here was my temperature blanket uh, and it's finished now uh, I actually I can't show it the whole thing here I can't it's so big I will try <laughs> can you see it's heavy it's almost two kilo <laughs> and then I sh I crocheted it together also and I made a little cute I think border around it so I finished it the last day on the on 2023 so this I made one square a month if you don't, are new here and don't know at all what, what it is about. Every row is one day and you look at the temperature outside and you have then a special color for that. Those temperatures. 
perhaps in, in a span, span of one to five degrees, something like that. Well, it was so fun. So now I have a big, big, big warm blanket. <laughs> oh, and they started here in Sweden, actually, a new one this year that uh, this company... Edna, we have who has Järbo and Svarta Fåret. Sorry. So he started a, a new one. I uh, know uh, uh, this one was my, my own, but they started so many, many now here in Sweden are, are crocheting a temperature blanket for 2024 in, in small, like small, six edges. I think it's six edges. And uh, like flowers, so pretty. But I actually don't making that one. I will continue with something I started last year. I don't want to have so much blankets going on. I'm I'm crocheting on one that I had just here in the living room when I'm sitting here with my hubby. And this one I started. <clears throat> For Amanda, my youngest, perhaps it's uh, a little bit boring, but she, she chose just these colors. I will show you here. So it's just, so I had to make the best of just five colors. Uh, and it's for, uh, I make it for from her birth year. 1999 so it's and I just make uh, I don't know the what is called in in half do you say half double crochet perhaps I don't make the big ones I make them half <laughs> and not a smaller one I will dive again See if I can find the, the notes I'm making for her here. Well, I start. I don't. I don't know if you can see it all. So I, I made a, a plan for it. So it, for every day, so I, I just uh, make a cross for the ones that I that I made. So I have <laughs> many days left, and here I have. So white is the coldest. So it wasn't colder than in, in Celsius minus 23 that year. So then I have white until between 10 degrees and to minus 10 degrees and so on. And the pink is the warmest. So it will not be that man much pink actually. It must Mostly yellow, between 10 and 18 plus degrees that year. Hmm. So that's my temperature blanket for this year. I will finish that one. Plus other, other uh, needs also. I mean, my, 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 Renée and my niece asked me, are you in a mission to, to get rid of, rid of uh, your yarns? Because I'm also... Uh, knitting on a cardigan it's in in my in the bedroom uh, they call it's named rag rug, rag rug cardigan by a Swedish designer Emilia Jensen that you have three or four strands together uh, fingering strands and you mix the the, the the colors as you want, we want. So it's like a rag rug, but in a cardigan. Uh, because then I have all my, I have so much smaller skeins and so leftovers from holst yarns, super soft. And I have, what should I do with them? I, I want that when I just have one here and one there. They are almost stressing me. So now I'm thinking I have much left of also from... This was knitted, no, crocheted in um, 
Jarn, Tines Jarn från Latvia. It's about it. It remind me a little bit of it's a true two plied. Reminds lit, a little bit of Rauma Finel from no, no, Norway. A little bit, uh, little bit uh, more tooth to it though. But I have so much left from that one also. So I'm thinking also should I knit one with two strands a big blanket because you always have use for blankets when the children come so they have they are having one blanket each and yeah I can give them or as a gift to someone because I even though I like love some of the yarns but but I want to I don't have the time to to finish that uh, everything I have, so it's good to. Uh, well, I get a little bit stressed. I, I can say that to have so much, and I want it's so much more yarn out there that I haven't tried yet that I would like to do. But I, I will not for the moment at least. I don't have any plans to buy any any new <clears throat> new yarns if it's not any special for the the kids, of course. Uh, I will just check here. Uh, I have so much notes. I, I can't continue to talk. I, I think I will have to save them for uh, another episode, perhaps. If you are here still, I I'm, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It, it feels like it's, it was so, such a long time ago and, and, and it, it, it's over about a month it is actually. Um, I can show you, uh, I, I can put in a, a movie, a short one. I made uh, mittens for my daughter and I, I knitted them in three strands of... Um, uh, unspun yarn for, from here from Sweden from next door <laughs> and then I embroider afterwards and I'm not I'm, 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 I'm learning so you who are good at it don't look at the details but it's so fun so I will make one also for my other daughter Amanda and Louisa wants more <clears throat> but I, I can put that in here so you can see them because she already got them <laughs> She wears them all the time. She, when when we are at the shop, or the gro at the grocery store, she ha she has them all the time inside. She takes them off when she puts uh, something in in the in the basket, 
uh, basket in the... <laughs> it's the day that I lose words more than uh, usually. She loves the, the meetings, I can tell you that. Uh, oh, sorry. I will also, I can show you just a photo also because I've test knitted last year uh, 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 a sweater for my brother's granddaughter, uh, uh, Daisy. She's three and a half years old. It's a pippy sweater. I can show you photos here. So, and it will be out as a free pattern in January 20. And I had to, I, I could show it here now. On, you can see it then on, on Edna. It's a little fly <laughs> on Edna. And also on Reverie, you can see all the free pattern from Svarta Forret and Järbo. Uh, and they are in English also. I've talked about that one. Well, I have so much. It's so much more that I, I will take it. So I have something to talk about next time also. Uh, thank you so much for being here over one hour with me, uh, taking of your precious time. And I wish you the best as always. And we have uh, hopefully a lovely uh, rest of the winter and spring in front of us. Soon it feels so much lighter already, even though it's really dark quickly here in Sweden have so much snow so much and, and, and it has been so so cold uh, but it will be plus degrees tomorrow they told they told me <laughs> they are telling us so so that will be interesting i hope it will not be slippery outside it's it, that's the worst when it's get uh, plus degrees and then it's cold again then it's just ice so it's dangerous outside outside it feels like it's so much more that I wanted to show you and share with you that I haven't done. But I will not do that because then I can talk at least one half an hour more. And I will not frighten you. I hope you will come back <laughs> here. And I hope you have enjoyed something. I have more mostly chatted about these Q&As and, and so on. I wish you the best. Bye.